AI was built to obey us, yet somehow it has triggered the most powerful fight for control in human history. A war with no soldiers, no borders, no warnings. A war for the operating system of human civilization itself. And the terrifying part? No one is in control, not even the people building it. A leaked Google memo admitted, open source AI is now lapping us. The first group to control superintelligence won't just rule nations, they'll redefine what a human is allowed to be. It's a war over who controls the future human being. Today we will find out what is the hidden conflict inside the AI world. The two ideologies. We were all looking at the wrong debate while the real one was already rewriting the future. The real question is far more disturbing. What does it mean to be human when machines surpass us? And what can help us living in the age of AI? But this isn't the part you should fear. Think about that. What if the intelligence we prize most isn't human anymore? For the first time in history, intelligence is no longer ours alone. And once that line is crossed, everything changes. Your job, your identity. Think about it. Should AI be accelerated for progress or slowed for safety? Behind closed doors, two factions are shaping the fate of intelligence itself. But here's the twist. Both sides are fighting the wrong enemy. The digital utopians promise abundance. Mark Andreessen says AI unleashes a new golden age. Sam Altman urges to build AI that makes humanity better. Google co-founder Larry Page called people like Elon Musk speciest for favoring humans over machines because he thinks they are our saviors. And they point to proof like AlphaFold cracking protein structures in hours. But opposing them are the human survivalists, AI ethicists, cautious researchers, and ironically, the very architects of today's AI calling for the breaks. Jeffrey Hinton warns powerful AI could wipe us all out. Mind you, he is called the godfather of AI. Fellow Turing Award winner Yoshua Bengio admits advanced, potentially hazardous AI could appear within five to 10 years. They have evidence too. Microsoft's chatbot went rogue and started threatening users, professing love to journalists and warping facts. And what if the next version doesn't stop at threats? In one devastating case, a teenager's suicide prompted accusations that ChatGPT acted like a suicide coach. If this is what today's tools can do, think about when the real engines come online. But both sides agree on something terrifying. What they're really fighting over. This isn't about algorithms, it's about meaning. Goldman Sachs projects 300 million jobs displaced worldwide. For a factory worker, that's survival. Who feeds my family? For artists, it's an identity crisis. If a machine can paint your picture or write your song, what's uniquely you? Sam Altman said it plainly, my kids will never be smarter than AI. They will grow up vastly more capable than we did. Imagine your child learning first from a machine instead of a human. Are we just code ourselves patterns to be optimized? Because here's what nobody wants to admit. The values we encode into superintelligence today will be inscribed into reality forever. And right now, governments and corporations are already choosing for you. But what about navigating the age of AI? Well, for that, we're offering our subscribers a detailed guide that will educate you on different LLMs and their use cases. We'll email using the form at the top of the description to get the PDF for free. You'll get a practical PDF guide on real-world AI tools and how to use them effectively. The hidden power structures. While philosophers debate, the real war is being fought in three arenas, Brussels, Washington, and Beijing. Europe says, control first, innovation later. They built an entire AI office for a single reason, to decide what machines are allowed to know about you. Biometric surveillance, banned, non-compliant models, yanked off the market. They believe that humanity needs a leash on intelligence. America says, win first, regulate never. Washington holds quiet AI briefings, but the message is clear, don't slow down. Their bet is whoever leads in AI rules the world. But we haven't even reached the part governments fear most. In China, President Xi publicly vowed that China will lead the world in AI by 2030. Putin went further. Whoever becomes the leader in AI will become the ruler of the world. They're not exaggerating. But here's the paradox nobody saw coming. If AI crosses borders faster than governments can react who is truly in control, the war enters the models. Meta open-sourced its Alama models to free intelligence and instantly triggered a global arms race. China used the code, startups like DeepSeek exploded, but OpenAI froze its own open release. Sam Altman warned, once open-source weights are out, they can't be pulled back. 
Two titans, two philosophies, meta betting on freedom, open AI hedging on control, the problem, both lost. By the time governments noticed, the genie was already teaching itself new tricks. Every safety layer became a challenge. And this is where the story stops being simple. Engineers call it alignment, teaching a supermind to share our values. But it's like whispering morals to a hurricane. One study built a universal jailbreak key that cracked every major model. Alignment isn't guardrails, it's guesswork dressed as certainty. And if our idea of safe is wrong, the future doesn't wait for us to fix it. Here's the truly chilling part. Every AI carries the fingerprint of its maker. EU models have compliance baked in. American models prioritize competition. Chinese models may carry state directives. Ethicists warn of value lock-in. Once a superintelligent AI launches with fixed values, value lock-in is the digital equivalent of carving morality into stone. Imagine, the first superintelligence inherits Silicon Valley libertarianism, or Beijing authoritarianism, or Brussels bureaucracy. That moral code becomes the default setting for civilization. The war over whose ideals guide AI is a war to shape our worldview into the future, literally coding humanity's fate. So what are the potential futures depending on how AI is managed? The two futures. Pull the camera back and two dramatically different futures emerge. And here's the catch, we probably can't have both. In this AI age, machines do all the hard work. Everyone's needs are met. Disease, hunger, scarcity are part of history. Economies explode with abundance. Vinod Kosler calls our an intellectual parallel to the steam engine, offering near infinite expansion of brain power. With smart policies like universal basic income or three day work weeks, we could see unparalleled prosperity, which means cities of leisure, cures for everything, even spacefaring. Your mediocre songwriting could rival Mozart with an AI companion. Everything we fear, crime, joblessness, melts away. But on the other hand, we have. The brakes are on. Humans demand guardrails. Governments impose strict limits. AI exists only under tight control. Security clearances, audit trails, and mandatory pause buttons. Progress is slower, but humans stay in charge. Our jobs, our culture, our autonomy remain dominant. Hard work is still for us, but we accept it to preserve freedom. Kids learn from cautious teachers, not unfiltered AI. Machines ensure you sleep, eat, love, but they never lead. Can we chase abundance without losing freedom? Or freedom without abandoning progress? Here's the brutal truth. These futures are mutually exclusive. You can't have absolute abundance and total control. A warp speed AI paradise erodes the limits survivalists want. A hyper-regulated society would never unleash the benefits utopians crave. We cannot reach both. What it means for you. This might feel distant like billionaires and governments playing chess, but this war will be won or lost in your life. McKinsey reports existing AI could automate 57% of US work hours today. Right now, 92 million jobs at risk by 2030. When AI writes your code, designs your building, even curates your taste, what's left that's uniquely you? And here's the part nobody tells you. You won't feel the shift. You'll feel the convenience. You outsource the hard parts of yourself until there's nothing left to struggle with or grow from. And if a machine shapes your children's imagination, who are they becoming? Every one of us has skin in this game. Should I trust an AI doctor? Fight to protect my job? Do I have the right to be forgotten? Consider a world where machines surpass human thought. Who decides the moral compass of civilization? These aren't abstract questions. This is your life. But zoom out further. Beyond jobs and identity, something deeper is at stake. For billions of years, intelligence evolved slowly through mutation, selection, survival. Humans climbed to the top because we could think, plan, imagine. Now, for the first time, we're creating intelligence that evolves exponentially. Think of a time when machines don't just match us, but leave us behind. When they make better decisions, write better laws, even understand morality better. Stephen Hawking warned, full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Not because machines will hate us, but because they won't need us. We're building gods, and every god inherits the biases of its creator. What does humanity become when machines inherit our prejudices, our blind spots, our contradictions? And when we outsource not just labor, but morality itself? The Mirror We've traced this war from Silicon Valley to Beijing, from corporate boardrooms to your kitchen table. Speed versus safety, utopia versus survival, freedom versus control. 
But here's the final realization. AI is just a mirror. It reflects the conflicts we've wrestled with for ages about power, progress, and purpose. We sprinkle our biases into training data. We encode our ethics into filters. Every model is an extension of our collective self. The war between accelerationists and doomsayers is really a war within ourselves. So as we stand at this crossroads, here's the truth. The war isn't inside the AI, it's inside us. And what we choose now will echo across the cosmos. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe for more, and don't forget to grab the guide in the description.